shows the kind of guy that he is. Um, don't like that. I like honest people. I like to think I'm an honest guy. So if you see Premier around, don't support that guy because he steals money from other Hello, we're back with a vlog. I've got training videos that I've put out. I got more training videos coming. So if y'all want to have lessons and tips on how to ride your bike better and suck less, hit the notification bell for whenever I put out the night, that next video. And, and you can subscribe and you can leave a comment and tell me what kind of video you want to see. And if that video or that comment is telling me that I'm an idiot and my videos suck, do that. <laughs> That'll work. All right, we're heading to Arena Cross. There's an Arena Cross out in Odessa, Texas. They do it every year. It's sponsored by O'Reilly. has a big pro payout. If I win both days, I will get $2,500. So, here's where we're at. <clears throat> I haven't ridden a 250 in about a year. I was thinking it was two years, but it's actually a year. Last year I had a 250, y'all saw that on the channel, and I raced in one Arena Cross round, but I was having a lot of issues with my arms, and I get arm pump like literally in my sleep, so I had a lot of nerve issues and stuff going on. Very similar to stuff Adam Cincerillo has going on with his arms, if y'all have seen that stuff. So I had a lot of stuff that was happening that was giving me issues. Well, we got that ironed out mostly, and um, I got two days ago, a buddy of mine, his name was Jared, he had a 2022 Yamaha 250F, and the bike's been ridden like four times. I'll probably see that video. I'll leave a card up here so you can see it because I've put a video of that bike on the channel. Um, anyway, he gave me a good deal on the bike, so I got the bike. That same day, drove straight to the track, which was two days ago. Drove straight to the track, rode it, got some motos just to make sure that the bike was all good, ready to roll, because we're driving eight hours to Arena Cross. I practiced this thing in sand. Or we're going to Arena Cross, no training, no practice, bike's 100% stock. There's nothing that can go wrong here. I'm completely unprepared, untrained, the bike's unprepared, but there's no reason I can't win. Isn't that right, Kate? Right. And we got Caden on the camera. Um, Caden is one of my buddies from the track. He used to work at the track, no longer works at the track. Anyways, we're gonna race tonight. Today's Friday. We're gonna race tonight. Race tomorrow night. It's supposed to be cold. We're on a bike that I've ridden for about 30 minutes. Nothing could go wrong. Race day. Yeah, that's oh yeah, nice. big quad guys. <clears throat> Very nice. Getting ready for practice. I uh, looked at the track. It looks super, you know, tame, mellow, easy, but it does have a triple, triple section. So for me not hitting a rhythm section in two years and hitting a real rhythm section and like four, I'm a little bit nervous. And we're on stock suspension with a bike that we have about 30 minutes on. So nothing could go wrong. My finger is not doing too hot, literally. So warming it up, be all right. They gave us a whole five laps uh, for the pros to learn the track. Obviously, it's arena cross. The track's not crazy or anything, but <clears throat> five laps. They have a big payout. You'd think they'd give us more than five laps opportunity to really ride the track. Uh, like we talked about earlier, the only hard part of the track is the rhythm. And <clears throat> I'm super nervous to hit that thing with stock suspension just because make a mistake, stock suspension, hitting a rhythm section is pretty sketchy if you make a mistake. So... I'm quite nervous about that, not pumped on it. <clears throat> and then the gearing on this thing, <clears throat> gearing is pretty low. So I, I really wish I had like two teeth, two teeth higher in the rear to give me more pickup. <clears throat> I bogged come out of the start, <clears throat> like the bike was just lugging. So not good, wasn't too comfortable with my turning. I definitely need to, I think we actually need to raise the sag. And the practice wasn't ideal, we got five laps and I did not feel comfortable. Um, definitely not comfortable on the new bike. As far as talent that's here today, I think there's like two guys that are that are solid and then the rest of them i think it's kind of just like just a matter of just getting around them but 
Anyway, there's a horse riding over here. What are you doing? This here retard tagged up the Holiday Inn Express. I'm sure they're gonna be stoked.
right, night's over. Um, on to night two. Not how I want it. Whoa. Not how I wanted it to go. <coughs> um, I got fourth, so I made 300 bucks, which as long as I make 400 on the weekend, we break even. But the goal is not to break even. The goal is to make money, win races, ride dirt bikes, you know, look cool, have fun. Um, not ideal. Came out fourth. I got a terrible start. I don't know if I'm just really bad at starting on this bike or what. Well, I know that's the case. But um, I'm just, I can't figure this bike out as far as starts go. It's really weird. Maybe I'm just too used to the 450s. But uh, hopefully we'll have a better plan going into tomorrow. I cleaned some dude out, I guess. I don't know. I haven't watched the video over yet. So I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what the, what the case is there. But I couldn't get around this guy. And he was just not riding in one line. So we had to do some <clears throat> a little encouragement and got by there. But anyway, <clears throat> fourth, not ideal. But on to night two. Do a spin for me. <laughs> I just got such a big dumpy, it won't go. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure that's on your eyes, buddy. Do it look like a Mennonite? <laughs> no, they don't wear shirts. That's illegal.
so we got to go get some water. Uh, he races over. Uh, some guy crashed in the first corner. I got stuck behind him. It was either run the guy over. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Jesus! That was Taylor. Yeah, so I was either run the guy over or go around him. So I'm a nice guy. It was a heat race. I went around him, but put me second to last. So we ended up getting fourth in the main again, which means we got 600 bucks on the weekend. Yeah! Um, not ideal, but you know, had no time on the bike coming into it. I was basically making suspension changes as we went through the day. Absolute animal. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so they had, the, so anyways, I'll recap the race real quick. I started fourth, finished fourth. Uh, I started trying some different st stuff throughout the race. I started jumping towards the whoop, trying to see if I carry more speed, and it was such a hard impact. I don't know if the video does it justice, but the stock suspension is really killing me. The Yamaha stock suspension is not good for running across, even tamed down, running across like this. Anyways, my hands were just hurt, and it's not something I have a good feel for. I love you. Freaking Ripper. Let's see you, buddy. He said, getting home. Ripper stole everybody's money. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, I came out with four, so I'm stoked on it honestly because the three dudes that beat me all trained supercross i haven't ridden the arena cross track of any sort in about a year and time before that was another year so it's not something i ever do anyway at the end of the day they had me scored at fifth and which was wrong we had the whole race of uh footage and then parker whitley pro goon co in case anybody doesn't know about him he's you can find him on instagram um i wouldn't support the guy but if you want to go look at him and see the goon that he is he was in fourth, I was in fifth, and he was sitting there like, oh, I didn't get lapped, knowing he got lapped, like you know when you get lapped. So he was lying to everybody, which is gonna steal money from everybody. So he went from fourth down to ninth, which was a lap down. So he C-class rider, by the bucks. way. He ended up getting down to $100. So he would basically stolen 200 bucks, would take $100 out of my pocket, and whoever else in between, he would've you know, just screwed over there. So um, shows the kind of guy that he is. 
uh, don't like that. I like honest people. I like to think I'm an honest guy. So if you see pro, pro Gunco, Parker Whitley around, don't support that guy because he steals money from other pros that are trying to make a living racing dirt bikes and just have fun doing what we do and being honest doing it. But we're gonna go ride at Andrews MX tomorrow because Andrews is sick and dirt bikes are sick.